All right, we got a bicentennial ender here on this roll of half dollars. We're back to open four more rolls of half dollars. On a quest to find silver. There's no silver in there, though. So we got a bicentennial. 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 Four bicentennials from that roll. Next roll has a bicentennial ender. A double bicentennial ender. Both ends are a bicentennial. So we got a bicentennial. 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 And another bicentennial. We got another bicentennial ender. No silver yet. We got the bicentennial ender there. I see another bicentennial right here. But another bicentennial. Another bicentennial. Another bicentennial. Another bicentennial. Last roll, we have a bicentennial ender. We got another bicentennial. The bicentennial ender. Another bicentennial. Another bicentennial. I missed a bicentennial. We have a 2000 Philadelphia. So that's it for right now. If we have any errors or varieties or any San Francisco's, I will come back and let you know. But otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll be back with another one very soon. Bye. I do have a possible error. It looks like the bottom of the E there is doubled. If I move it over a little. It just looks like there's a little bit of doubling on the E. That's not the only error I pulled out. I think it was in the last video that I got this. You can still see the G, but you can't really see the F for the FG, for his initials. So the FG is there, there are just areas where there was no FG. This is on the 1972 Denver. The 1972 Denver did have an error with no FG, so I think that might be what I have here.